Hey everyone, this is David Brown with the migration update for March 16th, 2025 from the Derby Hill Hawkwatch. When I walked out of the house this morning, the first thing I saw was this opossum. Today was pretty gloomy with overcast skies and occasional rain showers. It was really warm with temperatures up into the mid-60s and the winds were strong out of the southeast. With those two competing factors of good winds but gloomy conditions, I was interested to see how good of a flight we would get today. Here we have a hawk that is shaped like a flying cross. We see a relatively large head, and we can see a bit of a rounded tip to the tail because the outer tail feathers are shorter. This is an adult Cooper's hawk. Here we have the only shorebird that we're seeing as a diurnal migrant this time of year. This is the type of plover. You can see the relatively short bill, and it's got a double breast band. This is a kill deer. We had some small groups of turkey vultures wander through today for two dozen total, but it's looking at the hawk watches to the west of us in New York and Pennsylvania. It looks like there's a lot of turkey vultures headed our way, so this week the turkey vulture numbers should really start to pick up. Here's a group of five birds. We see long trailing legs and long necks held out straight. These are sandhill cranes. This was the only eagle of the day, and we see a lot of white in the wing pit areas telling us that this is an immature bald eagle. Here's a hawk with a long tail and long, skinny, pointed wings, and we see a lot of streaking to the underside of the body. This is an adult female northern harrier. Here we have a swallow that's white below and dark on top. If the light was better, we would see that it was blue on top because this is a tree swallow. Here we have another hawk that has a really long tail, but we see that this one is much more squared off as opposed to rounded, and we see a small head. This is an adult sharp-shinned hawk. Here we have a buteo with a lot of orange to the underside of the body and the wing coverts. We see a black and white patterning to the flight feathers of the wings and also the tail. It's a dark tail with thin white bands, and the tail is a little bit longer than we would see on some of the other buteos. Looking at the shape of the wingtip, we see five feathers making up the wingtip, giving it a real squared off or blunt appearance. And we can also see some translucent crescents near the wingtips. Those are all good field marks for an adult red-shouldered hawk. I think the big push of snow geese is over, but we're still getting some smaller flocks, and we had around 60 total today. As we got towards the end of the count, there was a thunderstorm approaching from the west. As is often the case, we had a small push of birds ahead of the storm, including a few northern harriers and sharp-shinned hawks and a red-shouldered hawk. And we also had this group of birds where you can see five out of a group of six great blue herons. I was happy I didn't have to go far to get safe inside the cottage because it ended up raining pretty hard for a few minutes. But as the sun was setting, it was clearing on the horizon, so we got a bit of a nice sunset. And then I went out a little bit after this, and I was hearing a lot of spring peepers calling. Taking a look at the eBird list, today we had 55 species. Taking a look at the hawk count report for our migrant raptor totals, today we had 24 turkey vultures, 1 bald eagle, 11 northern harriers, 10 sharp-shinned hawks, 10 cooper's hawks, 3 red-shouldered hawks, 2 red-tailed hawks, and one American kestrel for a total of 62 migrating raptors. That brings the season total to 1,628. Taking a look at the forecast for tomorrow, it will be overcast with temperatures in the mid-30s and 10 to 20 mile per hour west-northwest winds. So with that northerly component to the wind, we'll probably be at the south lookout. And it's a less favorable wind direction, but as I mentioned before, there's a lot of turkey vultures starting to move to the west of us. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had some medium-sized groups of turkey vultures moving on those winds and hopefully some other raptors as well. So would expect light maybe moderate migration. Looking ahead to Tuesday, we're looking at intervals of clouds and sun with a high in the low 50s and light south-southeast wind. So that's a good wind direction, but with it being so light, I'm afraid a lake breeze will probably kick in in the afternoon, but there should be some migration for Tuesday. And then looking ahead to Wednesday, which is looking like the best day coming up, cloudy with a high up towards 70 and south-southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. So we'll expect another good day similar to the past couple of days that we had here at Derby Hill. All right, a bit of a slower day today compared to the previous three days, but it certainly didn't end up being the washout it looked like it might be and ended up really getting pretty much a full day of hawk watching in and had a decent number of migrants and some nice sightings. So always a good day out here at Derby Hill and it seems like we'll have some more good days coming up later this week. Hope to see you soon. From Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.